What's up guys, it's me Alan, and I am back with another video, back with my you know, last uh, NASCAR diecast review for now. Well, there will be more in the future, uh, especially now that Wave 3 of NASCAR Authentics has been announced, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but we have another next-gen test car wave diecast to review. Uh, and the funny thing is, is that this is a, a next-gen car, albeit test car, but next-gen car nonetheless. But it's got the door in the middle. Which I feel like is going to make this diecast one that's going to you need to find. Because that's just kind of funny to me. But this is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Or rather JTG Doherty's number 47 Kroger uh, Chevy test car. Um, you know, for JTG, race, JTG, JTG Doherty Racing. Blah, 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 blah. Jesus. Uh, but it is, of course, the 47, which is Stenhouse Jr. So, with that being said, let's go ahead, get the die cast out of the box, and get on with the review. So here's the card that it comes with, same stuff on the back. Um, as the Suarez review, so I won't go and read that again. And here's the die cast out of the box. Like with the Suarez car, uh, the, my camera here on my phone uh, actually makes the blue a lot uh, brighter, which is pretty freaking neat. Uh, but yeah, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., uh, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> he still has the nickname of Spin House, and I think that's a name that's going to sit with him for a long time. Um, he's got a few cup wins to his name and he's not even a one, he's not a one hit wonder either, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, but he's just more so known for like the Rex and stuff. And that's a paint chip right there or just, you know, piece of paint that's not supposed to be there. Um, you got all the deck lid sponsors. I'm going to try to zoom in on this as best as I can. I don't think you're really going to be able to read them. Uh, that's for sure. But, um, oh, there we go. Okay, so we got it kind of focused. You know, you got Cheerios, Sunny D, Cottonelle, Valvita, and Brawny, and others. I feel like they're, uh, the spot that's missing right, if I can get my finger there, here, probably has to do with, like, you know, some sponsor, like, you know, how, like, like a monster or something. I, I don't think that's what it is, uh, but... You know, it would be kind of funny because we've seen those sponsors on the back deck lids of diecast before. If you're lucky enough to find one that has that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this, you know, for this being a next gen test car, it still has the door numbers on the, in the middle. Um, although I don't know what it is about the 47 font, but it just feel it just looks basic. Like it doesn't I, I don't know. I, I feel like I mean, sure, they're their number font is basic technically speaking but it just feels more than that to me it doesn't necessarily feel like it's there that i've seen before which is weird and i don't know how to explain that but it is what it is um but yeah as far as ricky Ste as far as ricky season this uh this year goes it it's been okay um He's not necessarily really in a playoff contention spot. He he's one of those guys who's a must win. Granted, a lot of people are. Uh, he, I think he's like in the mid you know twenties in terms of his ranking right now point in overall points. Um, if he manages to win Daytona and get in, that would be crazy. Uh, he's had some moments this year where he's looked pretty good, uh, but overall, it's just been an okay season. And it kind of makes you wonder how much, how long he's going to stick around in the Cup Series. Um, you know, rumors have come around every now and again of JTG possibly selling, you know, maybe giving up their charter. I don't see that happening anytime soon unless, you know, a team like Trackhouse, not necessarily them, but a team does what Trackhouse does or did and, you know, and buys them up. Although granted, Ganassi was kind of moving out of the sport anyway, so it was just perfect timing on Trackhouse's end. But still, like, just imagine for a sec if that happened, and, um, you know, and then who knows what happens with Stenhouse. Uh, but either way, 
he's had a decent season. He's a serviceable driver. Do I think he could end up back in the Xfinity series or even the truck series in the near future? Not necessarily. I think he's all right where he's at with JTG. But again, if JTG gets sold or something of that sort, then uh, there's a possibility he gets, you know, mo that he gets booted out, replaced with somebody else. Maybe he does go down to Xfinity. Maybe he does go down to trucks, something like that. But for right now, uh, I think he's okay where he's at in terms of, you know, his car. So with that being said, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. Make sure to use code ANJJ for $5 off on orders of $30 or more at Circuit Diecast. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.